to Theme Park Academy. I am Tour Guide Barbie, and today's lesson is why you should consider booking Universal's Cabana Bay before booking any of the Disney All-Star Resorts. I love this resort so much. When it comes to the value resorts here in Orlando, honestly, I feel like this one gives you the best feeling of being on vacation while still not totally breaking the bank. And I want to show all of it to you right now. So first things first, I absolutely love love the theming of this place. It's all 50s, it's super adorable. They have the suites where we're staying laid out like a 50s motel with your own entrance and exit. So right now, if you don't want to be contained with other people, you don't have to be. All the architecture here, everywhere you look, is absolutely incredible. And right now, what they're doing is when you go in the entrance of the lobby, two different entrances, they take your temperature, and they give you a wristband for the day, which is how they know that you have been screened. And then if you get on the bus, once you arrive at City Walk, uh, they look at you there and they see that you have the wristband, so they know you've already been screened. And if you don't have one, they send you down to get screened instead. So it's a great way for them to keep tabs on who has it and has not been checked. And they also switch it out every single day. So every day there's a new color. Of course, they have to have a merchandise store, but they actually have wands in here and robes. And so if the parks are too crowded, this is a great place to get your Harry Potter merchandise, as well as some of the other merchandise from in the parks too. But my one complaint, or rather my biggest complaint with this entire resort actually lays in here. I will show you what it is. So the Cabanic Bay logo is very cute and adorable, but they have so many merchandising opportunities here at this resort and they just don't use them. They have the cutest original artwork that they have on their souvenir mugs and on their little pool floats that you can buy and drawn on some of the walls. And if they had it on shirts and hoodies and things, I would buy all of them and they don't. And that just seems like a swing and a miss to me. Not that the logo isn't adorable, because it really, really is, but I think they could do so much more. And I've been waiting since they opened for them to add to it and they just haven't. So come on, do it, get with it. have Starbucks. I'm gonna show you what's up here. It's really cool. They have a bowling alley. How cool is that? You get to rent a lane for 45 minutes. I think it's $12 per adult. You get an annual pass holder discount if you have an annual pass or if you're an employee. How awesome is that though? And then over here, there's an arcade complete with the most important game in the world, air hockey, which I'm amazing at, by the way. It's true, I am. I'm a good, I don't know about that. I'm a good air hockeyist. And then also a perk of staying here is you have access to this awesome gym, which overlooks uh, one of the pools. It's huge too. What an amazing amenity. They've got the fun in the sun rec center where they usually do different like kids activities and stuff during the day or in the evening too, but it seems to not be happening right now, probably because of the virus. So this pool is pretty big, has a super fun water slide. This is the area that has the cabanas that you can rent for the day. There's the Atomic Tonic Bar, which is a full bar. There's also the Atomic Grill which is a counter service food little place. But you can get full meals there. It's a good place for lunch. 
Plus you've also got the fire pit over here to the side, which you can turn on at night by yourself. And inside in uh, the Bayliner Diner, they serve s'mores kits that you can uh, go there and do at night if you're into something like that. Personally, I think s'mores are disgusting, but I guess that's just me, because everyone else on this planet seems to love them. So this is the other beachside pool. They actually have like a sandy beach area over here, but they also have lots of paved areas too if you're not for the sand. They have some more fire pits over here. They have the Hideaway Bar and Grill, which is another awesome counter service area for lunch or dinner. And then there's a full service bar there. They actually have a Lazy River, which is a lot of fun. You can uh, just swim in it if you want, or you can buy a raft here or a pool float. They have several different options. And then you get to take them home, or you can bring your own if you want to. Waiting to enter the Lazy River. Here we go. So usually this pool and the other pool, they will have like, they'll put up a big inflatable screen and they'll show movies in the evening, which is awesome. You can like float there in the pool and watch like Back to the Future or something, which is awesome. But they have stopped that right now due to COVID-19, which is ruining everything. So there is not a sit-down restaurant option here, but their biggest eating area is the Bayliner Diner. It's open for uh, breakfast and lunch, and then they generally close for a few hours and open back up for dinner. They have a bunch of different areas where you can choose what kind of food you want. Very similar to the Disney cafeteria style eateries that they have at all their resorts. And then they have concessions that even when they're closed that you can still come in here and get. This is where they sell the s'mores kits. You can come in and grab some water. Uh, they have these cups. So I talked earlier about the artwork that I love. Let me show you this. See these guys, these characters. They're on here and they're on the pool floats that you can buy. I want them on a shirt. It used to be that you would buy these cups and for the duration of your stay, you could refill them the entire time. But right now, due to cross-contamination, it's just a one-time $7 single-use cup that you get to take home with you and look at and go, oh look, remember when I was at Cabana Bay and I bought this cup and I really wanted this to be on a shirt, but I got this cup instead. The downside to staying here is you are very much inside the Universal bubble. You're not inside the Disney bubble. So if you're staying here and you're going to Universal, then that's great. They do have buses that will take you there every 15 minutes, or they'll take you to Volcano Bay as well. But for Disney, SeaWorld, anywhere else, you're probably going to need an Uber or rent a car to get there. But it's all very, very close by. So the things like the extra magic hours, once they start again, you will miss out on those, but you get universal perks. So it just depends on what you're looking for for the weekend. I have been lucky that all three times I have stayed here, the Florida resident prices have been so cheap that for well under $200 a night, I've been able to upgrade and get a family suite, which is sweet. So come check it out. So cool. We've got this nice little living area here. Uh, this couch becomes a bed. You've got some drawers here, so if someone's staying in this front area, they can. Seating, which is awesome. Love the bar stools. We've got a great little kitchenette area. 
I've never used it ever, not one time, because that's just not the type of resort stayer I am. I'm never prepared. But if you are, the microwave, refrigerator, sink, shelves if you needed them, uh, mask collection, <laughs> uh, TV, separate, you know, awesome bathroom area. Again, super, super themed. I love how they do all the decorating. Obviously, it's not super, super high end, but it's enough. Like, it's really nice. It's really well done. And then, uh, I don't know if they have these with one king bed. I've always ended up with two double beds. Uh, again, some more drawers. Drawers there. Plenty of outlets for charging. It drives me crazy when hotels have like one outlet. And these days, you need to charge so many things. It's just the world we live in. And then there's actually a nice little walk-in closet over there with an ironing board and iron, another television. Like as far as a place to stay, I don't feel like you can beat this. You know, it's not, I know it's not a luxury hotel, but I, I love this for a weekend away, especially from all we've been through the last few months to be able to come here and escape for a couple days has been awesome and I'm very grateful to Theme Park Jono for suggesting it and that we've done it. So isn't this room great? I love it. And what they're doing right now is an extra measure for the pandemic. Um, they're not doing in-room housekeeping every day. Instead, if you need something, uh, there's a 24-hour number that you can text or call and they'll bring stuff to you. And then if you need them to pick up trash, they can come by and get it or towels and all you do is you just put it outside your door, let them know they need to pick it up and then they come pick it up and they don't even enter your room. Pretty great. I absolutely love this area at night with all the neon signs and you see the Starlight, Continental, Thunderbird, Castaway, Americana, like, it's just so cool. Uh, obviously, this is this era. I love everything, you know, retro and pinup. And I really feel like they did the era justice with this resort. And so it's a resort where I feel like I could just spend all day here very happily and not even really need to leave for anything, even though it's not considered like a higher end resort. It doesn't bother me at all. Whereas with the all-star resort, Basically, it's just a place to sleep and have access to Disney, and I more just want to be at the parks. Like, they're starting to feel outdated. I understand they have started updating the rooms, and I haven't stayed in the higher tier, like Art of Animation or Pop Century yet, but from what I've seen from the pool areas there, it's kind of more the same. They seem a little, I hate to say cheesier, because usually I feel like Disney does a better job at theming than Universal does, except for Harry Potter. Um, this resort, I love it. I, just, I love what they've done with it. And other than the merchandising for the money, I don't feel like you can beat uh, what we get here. We get a full suite for less money than I've ever been able to get anything at Disney, and or at least for that size, and it's just awesome. So let me know what you think. Have you been to Cabana Bay? How do you feel about staying in a hotel during a pandemic? They are definitely taking a lot of measurements here to try to keep everyone as safe as possible, but still at the same time, there are still people here and you still very much need to be aware of the crowd and what you're doing and you know taking precautions yourself. But let us know what you think. Uh, leave us a comment below if you could. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. Once again, this is Theme Park Academy. I'm Tour Guide Barbie. Thank you so much. You guys go. Blast dismissed. <laughs> Make sure to check out the adventures of Chris Lambert, our new, our new friend channel. <laughs>
I did not execute it in the same way. It's totally wiped out. Try to get in this time. Ready? Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you know how to do this? Hold the handles. There you go. Oh my god. I got it. <laughs> it's still recording. You look like you're folded in half. I am. I got the wrong size. They don't make them for six foot four dudes. <laughs> so they do, you just didn't buy one. I know. Next time I'm getting the big one. I'm going on the waterfall. Here we go. Hey. Remember last night when we were at the cowfish and I was following you? Upstairs to the bathroom, <laughs> and I just walked you to the men's room. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> I remember it. Beef churrasco. What is it? Beef churrasco. Beef churrasco.